Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Um, I am wanting to get this storage done. So, um, tonight I'm basically just going to be building up the, the... It's basically the last two, um... Kind of... Uh, not really. Uh, we still need Palm, uh, Cave Crawler, which is the blue wood, uh, Spook, Sinister, uh, End Times, Ice, Yellow, or Fur, Glow Fur. So, uh, I'm wrong. Never mind. Disregard. I digress. Um, let's go ahead and do the Palm Wood, and we'll try and get some blue wood done today. So, uh, if you have not followed or if you've not been keeping up, I have been building my awesome storage of awesomeness, turn rotate, um, on the base, which is going to be the wood sorter of tomorrow. Brilliant idea, if I do say so myself, rotate turn, boink, boink, come on, come on, get in there. Um, no recording yesterday, and that was because I was just not feeling it, and I'm kind of not feeling it today. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say, yeah, everything's fine, hunky-dory, dandy. I'm, I'm not. I'm not fine. I am feeling the pressure of, of making videos every single day, and coming in here and grinding away at Lumber Tycoon 2, or playing any kind of Roblox game. I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I, I think it might be the combination of quarantine and worry about the virus and worry about the, the protest and just worry about my job. I'm not, I'm not really worried about my job. I mean, I, I really like my job, but I think one of the problems is I've started to not disassociate. I've started to feel like my job and my work, like work and play has started to become one thing, which is normally a good thing. Like if you can't tell that you're working, then that's good because you're, you're enjoying yourself and you're having fun. But I think that, um, that disassociation of like work ends, play begins, or time off work versus everything else. I think that blurred line is getting to me. Does that make sense? Like, I really, really enjoy what I do. <laughs> A lot. Uh, and for those of you that don't know what I do, I am an application development analyst uh, for a company. I create programs, I create apps. And it can be anything from like, turning a paper document into a paperless app where I store data inside databases and do workflows of different things. All the way to things like IoT, which is Internet of Things. Um, you, know, you guys know the, the little Amazon buttons? I created a bunch of those where um, you push a button and it like orders um, a specific thing I can't say what those things are, but I mean, I've played with them. Um, they connect to Wi-Fi. They they have specific identifiers for each one that you have. It has, I, I program it so if you push the button once, it's a, a single click. If you double click it, it's a different type of click. It's a different signal. If you press and hold for two seconds, it's a, a third kind of click. And what I mean is like, I've. I do a bunch of different things and it's all fun. Like there's never been a moment of my job where I'm like, oh God, this is boring, I don't wanna do this. <clears throat> um, just today there was, uh, I programmed bots. Like the, the things that you guys have came to my channel for, like how to program a bot, Club Penguin, where you saw me create a bot where my penguin would go and fish automatically. The, the Kingfisher bot, right? Taking those steps and applying them to like applications for a company. I do that. That's, that's my job. So to come out here on YouTube and just have fun with it is an understatement. <laughs> I, I do this constantly. 
I think this is also why Lumber Tycoon 2 has become like my go-to game for relaxing because it's something I don't have to work at. It's just uh, come in here, build and be creative and, and have fun, you know? But that's just it. I think that line has become blurred or skewed because if I don't want to come in here and play, then I feel like I'm letting my fans down. I feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to on YouTube. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making a bunch of sense or not. In fact, I could be completely talking crazy and nobody except whoever's in my comments right now would be able to say, no, Code, you're doing fine. You're, you're okay. Am I okay? I, I think I'm, a, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. It's just a, it's just a feeling, you know, it's more than a feeling. <clears throat> and it, it could, like I said, it could just be me. I don't know. And it could just be the, the time period that we're in, you know, give it a few weeks. Maybe it'll change. Who knows? But I'm, I'm almost feeling like something needs to change on the channel. Something needs to change with me. Something, something, I feel a change coming. I don't know if it's a good change, I don't know if it's a bad change, but that's how I feel. I don't know if uh, if I should be doing more on the second channel. Um, I, I don't feel the reward of the second channel. Like, coming in here and doing these things for you guys, that's, that's very satisfying. Especially when I start getting all the comments and, and the things like, Code, you've inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. Awesome! I'm I'm really glad that you were starting out the journey, and good luck. It is a it is a tough grind. Um, if you've never had a job before, say you, you're brand new, starting out the world, um, young. All right, say you you just turned 13, you made your channel, and you're ready to go. And if you're younger than 13, make sure your parents know about it because there are laws. Uh, you have to have you have to be 13 in order to have a YouTube account blah 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 long story short if you've never had a job before YouTube is a job okay it is it is a no holds bar drag down fight to the finish hardcore oh what happened there oh I, I moved the <laughs> silly goose <clears throat> It, it is a it is a tough tough thing. Look, code. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's hard. I mean, it's the the game like the gamut of things that you have to do on a YouTube channel are hard, and just maintaining it is is hard enough. Uh, what's next? I did palm. Is it glowwood? Glowwood. Yay. Uh oh. This one I do need to. Uh -oh. Let's see. Turn, turn. There we go. Let's see if I can just grab this stuff out. There's two. That one needs to be turned. I might have to go get more blue wood. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Um, it is, it is a, it is easier just to go to work, have somebody else tell you what to do and not have to think about the executive decisions of everything that you're about to do on your own channel. And I hope that makes sense because like I said, it is, it is pretty hard coming up with the ideas, coming up with the, what you're going to do every single video just jumping in here every single day and running the numbers, you know? And I never thought I'd be looking at analytics the way I look at analytics nowadays. I look at demograph, who's who's watching me? Where are they watching me from? Uh, where, what time of day do they watch, you know? And that's where I come up with the numbers such as release every single day. 
uh, well, with the exception of Saturdays and Sundays, which I probably should do that. I, I should go back to seven days a week recording, you know? Um, I just took a deep sigh breath on that one. <sighs> Could you, could you imagine going back to some days? Ugh. I cut it down a lot. I used to make uh, about three videos per day. And it, 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 was, it was crazy. If you remember those days, let me know in the comments down below. And see, and little stuff like that, like the call out to actions. Comment, subscribe, all that down below, blah, 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 blah. And then to like come in and see somebody make a video over something stupid. Stupid, something just so 10 hours of nothing, 10 hours of nothing. There is a YouTube video out there called 10 hours of nothing. And you know what? It's got like 6 million views. How, why? I mean, it was made in 2013, but six million views. I don't even have one video with a million views. I don't think. I, I've never, like, I think my top rated video has like 500,000 views, something like that. And I'm not complaining. I'm I'm not complaining. Don't take this as like, oh, here he goes. He's, he's ranting on somebody else. No. I'm just amazed at like what people, what, what interest people, what interests you? Why are you here watching this video? Just a question. And it's not an insult. Like what makes you want to watch me? Is it because I talk about things like this? Is it because I have Lumber Tycoon 2 playing in the background? Um, a lot of videos I've noticed are games that are being played in the background like lumber and somebody talking into the microphone like me only a lot of them they don't use their voice and it's usually a, an edited cut over some kind of edited video but at the same time I'm like I do fall into a category I fall into like a gameplay category but I'm, I'm not talking about the gameplay right now like we're not talking about this blue wood going inside the one by one saw to create the the units that I'm gonna need to build my storage over there. I mean, that would be gameplay, but I'm not talking about gameplay. I'm talking about something outside the gameplay. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know if it makes any sense, but that's what we're doing. And dang it. <laughs> I meant to use... Uh, okay, that I'm going to talk about the gameplay on that one. Uh, that long unit I just had, yeah, I could have gotten like six or seven door, or walls out of it. But instead, I got too close. Okay, let's just stop right there. There we go. Uh, run, 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 run. That's funny. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just being overly sensitive about it. And ev you know what? Every year, around the same time, I always come back to the same question. Am I doing it correctly? Am I doing this right? Should I be doing something different on my channel? And I already know what the answer is. Give it a month and I'll come back to this same scenario and be like, no, I'm doing it right. I'm, I'm doing okay. And I'll convince myself that everything's hunky-dory and we'll be just fine. I know the answer. But it's good to engage. It's good to ask questions like that. So, I'll warn you. If you're looking to start your own YouTube channel and you're young, and you've never had a job before, this is the hardest job in the world. All right, there there are certain jobs out there that are hard. This one, psychologically, mentally strained, this could break me. If I, if I were a full-time YouTuber, I could see this being very unstable. Because with one wrong slip up, with one, one Missed calculation. You could completely ruin your channel. You could completely ruin a reputation. You could ruin somebody else's reputation. It's a very, very powerful position. And I hope I'm doing right by it. I hope that I've I've 
save somebody's life. Well, in fact, I, I know I've saved a few people's lives just because of the things that I say on here, you know? If you're going through a hard time and if you're thinking about harming yourself, don't. It's not worth it. It is not worth doing something that is permanent. Nothing, nothing does that. It's not worth it. Talk to somebody. If you're feeling like harming yourself, speak up, speak out, and I'll ask it. I'll ask the hard question. Are you thinking of suicide? Suicide is ending your own life. And this is a huge, like this is, this is a very controversial topic, especially for a family friendly channel that talks about things like this. Don't do it. Talk to somebody. I'm telling you right now, the, the person that I'm talking to and you're thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, is he talking about me? Yes. If you're the person that was thinking that thought sometime during, during the day or the week, stop, pause the video, go talk to somebody and tell them and speak out. And know that I'm still here. I'm still here creating videos for you for that person that might need that little piece of inspiration because they had a bad day or because they got bullied or because they don't think they look pretty. You are made exactly the way that you are and that's beautiful. There's nobody else in the entire world who looks or acts or does exactly like you do. You might have a doppelganger out there that kind of looks similar. You might even be an identical twin. And guess what? Even in cases of identical twins, you're not the same. Like you might be able to fool somebody like, haha, we got you. You're not the same person. That is amazing. That is worth living. That is worth going out there and telling the world, Hey, I don't care what you think. I love myself and I love me for what I do. And is it weird to think to myself sometimes that when I'm sitting here talking to the camera and I know that you're, you're watching it from a different perspective, but when I'm sitting here talking to myself, I'm kind of speaking to the inner me as my, myself as well. Hey, future me who's watching this video later on. Yes, you are awesome. Stop doubting your YouTube channel. You've got 121,000, almost 122,000 subscribers. And you know what? They love you. They subscribe to your channel. They hit that subscribe button for you. Not because you're the most awesomest YouTuber in the world. Not because you make amazing, unbounding commitments to awesome technology. No, it's because you are you. Thanks, me. I needed that. <laughs> so, yeah, Insanity, I guess, has got to be at least one of the recommendations that uh, I would definitely recommend if you're going to make a YouTube channel. <laughs> and to the parents watching right now, <laughs> yes, I am weird. Thank you. I appreciate it. And to the kids, to, to everyone who's ever called me a 40-year-old playing Roblox, thanks. I appreciate that as well. Your, uh, your intimidation and motivation keeps me going. It keeps me sane. Wouldn't want to get, uh, you know, a big head. Like, ah! And then think, oh my gosh, I'm here because I'm awesome. No, I'm here because I'm having fun. <sighs> I feel better. Like, from the beginning of this video, I... I wasn't feeling it, and I think I remembered why I like playing this game. I, I remember why I like making YouTube videos, and it's for this right here. <laughs> and to anybody who's already commented something, if you want to go back and edit it, you can, but that's your choice as well. <laughs> I know these, these, uh, these videos, they'll get lost in the shuffle. And years will go by and 
can only get like a thousand, maybe two thousand views, something like that. But you know what? It's still going to be here for a long time. For a really long time. Hopefully, as long as YouTube's still around, it'll, it'll exist out there on the internet somewhere. And someone, somehow, will find it. Uh, oh, by the way, the current year is 2020. If you're watching this in some different year, like 2021 or something like that, comment the year that you're watching it. <laughs> if it's still 2020, don't be like, yeah, I watched this on 6-18-2020. Uh, yeah, that's, that's tomorrow from the recording. That's like the release date of this video. <laughs> don't do that. Watch, just because I said don't do that, now I'm going to have like 20 people who do that. That's another thing. Like, I have never seen the more defiant people than the YouTube fans and, and viewers. Like, you say, don't, don't comment first down below, and everybody's like, first. <laughs> I don't know. It's almost like an anti-authoritarian uh, thing. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it goes to show the world is its own beast. It's its own, own people. Sorry, didn't mean to call you guys beast. You know what I mean. It's it's its own animal. Uh, how long have I been recording for? Twenty-one minutes. Not bad. Twenty-one. What's the next uh, the next wood? Next wood after that's going to be spook wood and sinister wood, and then it's ice and glowfer. Uh, oh no, in times, glowfer. Icewood. Or, sorry, Frostwood. Why do you call it Frostwood? It's ice. Frost. It's Frostwood. No, if it were Frostwood, it would, you know, be a regular bark with, like, coldness on the outside. That's a frost. It's not ice. These things are made out of ice. You go and mill them, and they're, like, even the friction is low. So. Okay, fine. Let's do end times. Do I have any end times on the base? I do not. But I've got end times down below, so uh, shall we go try our hand at an end times? Hmm. hmm. Shall we? I don't. I don't need much. <clears throat> don't need. Don't need much. I don't know much, <clears throat> but I know I love you. Mm -hmm. All I need to know. Sounds like the dog is barking at something. Did did we find out what was in the gray package? The non... Uh, oh. Somebody asked me the other day, they're like, what causes this package to become like the super gray like this? Well, I can tell you this. The image, uh, whatever the image was that was uploaded for this particular mesh, was deleted or re removed by Roblox. One of those two things happened, and now any object that has this image on the mesh now looks gray. Why does it look gray? Because that is the standard part mesh color that comes on uh, on the old Roblox stuff. So I could I could show you more detail on Lamag or something. Which speaking of, I've not played Lamag. In, or I've not done a Lamag in a while. I've been thinking about doing it, but at the same time, I'm kind of demotivated to go and make games. I don't know why. Just, I don't know. It's more than a feeling. It's more than a feeling. <clears throat> now, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do this. By the way, this is dark gray wood. Uh, if you're ever looking for purple or dark gray wood, there they are kind of a puzzle riddle thingy that might be too big possibly maybe one more maybe maybe this is is this too small uh oh uh oh uh oh Come on. There we go. So I should be able to take this, open it up, grab the eyeball, shove it in through here. Oops, excuse me. And 
bada bop, bam, boom. Does that work? No, it didn't work. Okay, let's shove this back outside. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need, to, need to grab this from you. Oh gosh. Um, okay. Let's just grab that. And here we go. Is it? Is there a hidden piece right there? Is there an invisible piece that I'm not seeing? I think there is. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. There we go. Okay. So now. Uh, keep the bridge down for 100. Goodbye. Oh gosh. Am, am I going to be able to do this? Because I bought the badge, I don't know that I can actually do this. Okay, I'm gonna pause it until that goes back up. Hang tight. Yay, it finally fell down. It went down. I've got like four minutes to try and get some in times wood, which is longer than I think. Press E. Hello, Super Sir, Madam. Yep, that, oh, it took, wait, 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 wait. Did it take the, it took the eyeball. It took the eye, yay. Honey, where is my super suit? What? I said, where is my super suit? Why do you need to know? <clears throat> oh no. What? It took my eyeball, but it didn't go all the way down. No! Have I tested this before? I think I've tested this before. Defaultio is broken. It's broke, dude. I purchased. Take my money. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks. Okay. That. <sighs> so that's a huge bug, especially if you're a soloist and you're, you're coming into a private server, paying the two twenty-two a month for a private server, just to find out you can't go down to the end times wood by yourself. Hmm. Not that I'm complaining, you know. Defaultio, he can make some mistakes too. It's programming. It's problematic. So, I will definitely uh, address that with him. Um, oh, I do have this kind of wood. Do I have enough to make... Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't know that I could make enough out of it. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I would need to make 18 pieces out of this. I don't think I've got that many. Unless. Oh, unless. Hmm. Hmm. Here, let's set this off to the side. We're going to think about that right there. We're going to think of how to get those units. Hi, Pi Do Min. Pi Do Min? Hi, buddy. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And there was somebody earlier that subscribed as well, and I missed your name. Thank you for your subscription, and thank you for becoming a, a code supporter, code primate supporter. I appreciate it. All right, we're gonna leave those two right there and just think about that for a second, but we got two two more storages done and out of the way. Very cool. And yeah, that's that's all there is. That's all I need to know. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Remember that if you have a green screen, your Mountain Dew will not show up on camera and it looks kind of weird. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.